Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Lamborghini Mighty and Grammys. Here today for part 75 for the Japanese Grand Prix. We are on pole alongside George Russell, Vince Verstappen and Oscar Piastri, Alan Bourne and Jack Doohan, Fittipaldi and Charles Leclerc, Joe and Pierre Gasly, Sonoda and Liam Lawson, Norris and Ocon, Pacher and Lance Stroll, Logan Sargent and Nick DeFries, Magnussen and Valtteri Bottas, Dennis Helger and Carlos Sainz is stone dead last with a penalty. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Japanese Grand Prix. Unlike last time out in Monza, it is going to be dry for the race. But it was still wet for qualifying and we did personal bursts and it was enough to put us on pole position. So the strategy then, we're going to be starting on the sauce, going to the mediums, looking to make it this race three in a row off the back of Zanfort and last time out at Monza as well. But we're pointing towards George Russell as the fiber lights go out and we are racing at Suzuka it's a great start by Max Verstappen he's jumped George Russell at the start we lead into turn one Max Verstappen's P2 and championship rival it's now as we head through the first sector the S's the iconic S's of the Suzuka circuit we have a big wobble there going through the last part Max Verstappen had a little look at the inside of us. He just about missed out on a podium last time out. As he goes to the inside, does match the stuff and nearly gets the job done on us. But now he's vulnerable to George Russell, who wants his P2 back. He's going to the outside at the Kobayashi hairpin. Round the outside, can George get the exit? No, he can't. Max just about keeps it behind. And George Russell has to back out of there as we go into spoons uh, as we go up into Morris. The 130R Max is going to go to the inside of us if we're too far back. He does back out of it when he makes sure he backs out of it and really pinch him into the exit. And now going down, Max is, Max is slowing down, he's pulling over. Max for Stafford is slowing down. My challenge arrival is pulling over. To retire and the advertising board has had a bit of a moment there but Max Verstappen is out of the Japanese Grand Prix as we have a big wobble there coming out of the final chicane George Russell now may have a look at us but after the actual don't call him out he's still in this as he's getting close and close to the back of George Russell is he going to go to the outside is not enough space there and keeps Oops. behind one lap a couple laps later lap four now you're just keeping George at jabbing distance but this time he's in the toe he's in the DRS he's going to go to the outside we do block him quite a bit there that was a bit a bit more more than one defensive maneuver with that one but we keep him behind but we run wide George is alongside us he has to back out he's too far back now lap five going out off into the hairpin George nearly gets the job done as we force him wide Oscar Piastri goes steaming through down the inside and now has the outside line to keep it pinned and Oscar Piastri takes P2 in the Grand Prix Albon is P4 just in the background can he get his first points for the team after the last couple of races let's now put contact surely with Piastri as we head down towards 130R Piastri's just ahead he has to back out of it now George is all over the back of us we somehow keep the lead but there was definitely contact as Piastri has a big moment and now George isn't going to get overtaken to retake his P2 it's not he's not because Albon He's going at George Russell Albon doesn't quite have the straight line speed. It's now Piastri is coming back at us to the inside and backs out of it. 
Let's know. This is Charles Leclerc. The Ferrari is slowing down. It's been two shocking races in a row for Ferrari and Charles Leclerc. The, the mess up with the strategy last night at Monza and the DNF here is we were starting to pull away from Piastri as now George Russell overtakes the McLaren. I think Piastri did start to have damage or some sort of engine issue. He was really struggling. George was going now into now for us as he boxes at the end of lap 11. Now by lap 12, George has caught his back up, but we are going to box at the end of this lap to make our one and only stop of the day on to the mediums. Do win and I'll want to stay out into the pit. So you can see in the background, does go George into his pit box as we head down the pit lane, hit our mouths, bang on onto the mediums. As we look back though, we've had a slow start from George Russell. Has, has been handed the lead, it's a slow stop on our part. We kept slipping with the clutch and we gifted the lead of the Grand Prix to Mercedes and George Russell with only just as well. Beat out Oscar Piastri, he's going he's gone on to the hards. But now it is game on to retake the lead of the Grand Prix. We've gifted it to Mercedes, I know this is doing, and Albon doing has done the overcut on Piastri. He's gone two laps longer, three laps longer than the McLaren. Albon though has been caught up. The Alfa Romeo in the mix as well, and that is Fittipaldi. He's had a, he's having a great couple of races, but we were hunting after George Russell. We had great pace on these mediums. We just couldn't get close enough to have a go on the Mercedes as this is Fittipaldi now getting past the McLaren of Fittipaldi the McLaren is just not working around this track as he locks up and Albon follows the Alfa Romeo through look at the trolley train behind him it's lap 17 can Albon get P4 and get past that Alfa Romeo as lap 18, we were finally close enough, we finally broke the DRS. Is this the time though? We get the job done. And George Russell, we get closer and closer. We're going to go to the inside, straight to the inside, and go round the outside. And we're up, back up into the lead, but we run wide on the curb. George is back up the inside of us. We slam the door shut though, and take the lead back of the Japanese Grand Prix we undo our pit stop error and now George we've gone deep George is up inside of us and but we keep George behind just about then so now this is Albon in the further back did catch Fittipaldi took him a couple of laps but he did overtake Fittipaldi he's up into P4 he's doing exactly what a teammate wants I want to do just what I was expecting science to do but didn't but at lap 26 we couldn't shake off the two Mercedes but Jack Doohan has had unbelievable pace and on the last lap can he take his teammate for P2 we're gonna be leading the Grand Prix into the final two corners Jack Doohan's running out of time to overtake his teammate but we are going to win the Japanese Grand Prix That's it then for another fantastic Grand Prix here in Japan. A brilliant victory that has thoroughly earned the applause of the sellout crowd here today. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today.
So that's been your Japanese Grand Prix and from an absolute nightmare and that Mercedes had double DNF in Monza, a T3 isn't bad for them as a bounce back. We win though the Japanese Grand Prix, we make it three in a row now. Albon gets his first points for us and his first points of the season as well. Great P4 finish. It's another great day for Alfa Romeo as well. P5 and P6, especially for Yuki Tsunoda at his home Grand Prix as well. Down at the back though, your two retirements of the day were Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc and Kevin Magnussen was the last finisher of the Grand Prix. In terms of the Drivers' World Championship then, us winning the Grand Prix and Max Verstappen not finishing the Grand Prix means we now have a 72 point lead over Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton still somehow technically P2 in this Drivers' World Championship. That's just how good he was before he decided to retire mid-season. And Jack Dewan now finds himself 14th in the Drivers' World Championship as well. He is climbing very quickly. Down at the back though, there's only two drivers who are still yet to score this season that is Logan Sargent and Kevin Magnussen and those 12 points for Alex Albon move them up into P19 in the World Championship. In terms of the constructors then we've gained five points on Mercedes the gap now 32 points to Mercedes there's only one team now though who are still yet to score that team is Williams. So that's been the Japanese Grand Prix we had to undo the mistake of the pit stop we did that and we pretty much controlled the Grand Prix just about keeping the Mercedes behind but we win the Grand Prix it's now three in a row for us we go to America next to Kota for the very first time since the first season of the career mode I'll see you then goodbye